<laughs> so, I mean, thankfully, everything worked out, you know, with you. And then, you know, things were going good. But then Nia Jax busted your face open. Yeah. Uh, how devastated were you when the match with Ronda Rousey got called off? Uh, yeah, I was pretty devastated. Um, I, I was also severely concussed. Um, and so I think that helped the, the devastation because really I knew that if this match wasn't going to happen now, it was going to happen at WrestleMania. And so I, I knew pretty quickly that it was, it was a good thing that this had happened. Um, but still I was just, you know, when you're concussed, you're very emotional. So I was, I was real devastated that it wasn't going to happen. I was like, even in the hospital, I was trying to think of ways that I could still have the match at Survivor Series. And they were like, no, no, not wrestling. I was like, no, but I could just, I could, I could do this. And then she could do that. But they were like, no. no I can no. come in for 27 seconds and just punch her real fast. and we'll call Give it her a rock bottom and <laughs> out we go. Out we go. Is a match against Ronda Rousey one-on-one -on -one something you still hope happens one day? Yeah, I think, it, and I, I do think it will. I do think it will. I think uh, the fact that I've had a baby and came back so great that she'll want to, she'll want to probably one up me. She'll probably try to come back in like three months or something. So. And then I'll be right there to punch her right in the face. <laughs> Give her a rock bottom. Out of here in 20 seconds, Rhonda. <laughs> so long. Good night. I liked how your guys' rivalry extended to babies, it felt like. Like, you know, like you both walked away for a little, you were both away and you're like still competing over pregnancy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I got there first and my baby's bigger now. So my baby, <laughs> oh, okay, let's not go down that road. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was going through your mind when you finally walked out on stage at WrestleMania knowing like, man, this is crazy. My dreams are being accomplished here. I'm in the main event of WrestleMania. Uh, I was enjoying it. And so that was one of those things where when it comes to big matches and, and big events, we're often so nervous. And so I hope I do this right. But I was also like, this is my WrestleMania, you know? Like I was walking around so happy with myself that I'd made it and, and that this was my WrestleMania and that these people wanted me, wanted to see me beat Ronda Rousey in the main event of WrestleMania and how far I'd come from being on the pre-show the year before. And so I, 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 I remember even walking past the Taker and Hogan were backstage and just being like, oh, I'm in good company. And, 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 and so I, I was just very conscious to soak up every single second of it and enjoy it. And that's, and that's what I did. Yeah, I, that, that's, I'm glad to hear you say that because yeah. I think a lot of times you hear people say that like they can't enjoy it because they were so in their head the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And I, th I think I'd gotten a lot of advo advice of just, just enjoy it. And so I really wanted to make conscious effort to do that because we don't do that so much of the time and even since i've been back when i came back at SummerSlam, i just was enjoying every single second of it for the best stories easy to find scores and comprehensive team pages plus access to every live fox sports game and exclusive bonus cameras download the all-new fox sports app now